What's up guys, it's about King Dogo and everyone, we've been on this Red Dead Redemption, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the on post notifications, hit the like button, let's get in my guy. That was fast as fuck. Uh, we're about to go fishing, I think. Yeah. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll Sorry about that, my mic fell off. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock. All right, back to the back. Perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. This is the spot, down to the left there. About time. Hold on, I want to check the map. Because we got a new place. But you know how... We haven't unlocked this. We haven't unlocked this. We haven't unlocked this. We haven't unlocked this. But we got so much map. And every chapter we're in a new place. Or we earn like land or something like that. I don't know. But I look forward to find out. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Oh, we're going in the boat. We're going real fishing. Last time we went with that kid, it was, it was just fishing. This is real fishing. I think we're using the wooden one, I guess. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Okay, here we go. Let me 
me rope. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Gentlemen. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but You'd have to be real lucky to catch I know the fish. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. You got something biting, Archer. Come on, Arthur. You can't go back empty-handed. You got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. Hey, come, 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 and just two. Bo is not Some really in. One. Got one. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. Remember that? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners do we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? And here is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round round round. men that do our states disdain but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain to them we dance this round around on this ground
Bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think about that too much. Indeed not. <laughs> I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Take the end of you. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, Miss Arthur. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just, a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Elizabeth. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop pissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work? Go ahead, they says. Shield us. So I did. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Alright, bro, hit that like button, subscribe. Now I keep on bringing these videos. That's probably the end for me for a while. I'm probably gonna upload some more at six or something like that. I'm hop back on at six. Let me get these videos out, so. Yeah, hit that like button, subscribe. And yeah, we got this out here.